Hi there, today we're going to learn about telling time to the half hour. So the first thing we need to talk about is what does half mean? We know that an hour, one hour, is the same as 60 minutes. So the equals are the same as 60 minutes. So we need to figure out what half of 60 is. So one half of 60 is the same as 30 minutes. So 30 minutes equals one half hour. So when we say half hour, it's the same as 30 minutes past the hour. Remember, o'clock is the top of the hour. So an o'clock is at zero, zero. For instance, three o'clock is three, zero, zero. So 30 minutes past that, here we have it, 3.30. So notice something different. We always remember with telling time that we look at the small hand first, and we look at the big hand or the minute hand second. The hour hand has moved. If it was at 3 o'clock, the hour hand would be pointing directly at the 3, and the minute hand would be pointing directly up at the 12 there. Now it's gone halfway from the o'clock. It's gone halfway around the clock, and it stopped here. So when the clock has been split in half, gone 30 minutes with the minute hand, something has changed with the hour hand as well. The hour hand has moved. It's now halfway between, if we look here, between the three and the four. So not only is the minute hand moving around the clock, but the hour hand is as well. Now notice, when we write it, 3.30, 30 minutes past o'clock. Now let's go practice telling time to the half hour. I'm going to show you some clocks and we'll figure out what time it is. Okay, we have a new clock here. Now something to remember when telling time to the half hour is you have to tell where the hour hand is pointing. Now something to remember is the hour hand is always moving in this direction. It's turning this way. It's going back to the o'clock. So we can look at the hour that has just passed, or gone by, and that's the hour. That tells us what time the hour is at. So it's just past 9. So the hour is at 9. And the minute hand is pointing to the 6. Remember, halfway around, or 30 minutes around. So it's 9.30. Nice job. OK, we've got another clock here. Now remember the rules. We look at the hour hand first. It is always heading back towards the 12. It's heading in this direction. So we look at the hour that has just passed. It's between the 2 and the 3. It's going in this direction. And so we can look at the one that has just passed. It is at the 2, because it's gone past it. It's in between them. And then we've gone halfway around the clock. Remember at o'clock, it's back to 60 minutes. So if the clock going around all the way to 60 minutes, down here at the 6 is 30. So we've gone all the halfway around. So we're at 2, 30. Nice job. To review, when telling time to the half hour, you always check your hour hand first, the shorter hand. And remember that it is moving along between the hours. It's halfway between two numbers. You look at the number it is past. Remember, it's going around in a clockwise fashion, heading back to o'clock. For the half hour, for 30 minutes, remember that with the 60 minutes, half of 60 is 30. So when the minute hand is at the 6, it's 30 minutes, or halfway around the clock. Great job. You've been practicing telling time to the half hour. Can't wait to talk to you more about math soon.